Welcome to Rhema for Living Daily Devotional Broadcast. It is written and forever remains true. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes out of the mouth of God. The Word of God is the secret for victorious and quality living. Rhema for Living is an inspirational and spiritually uplifting daily devotional written by Apostle and Reverend Dr. Lizzie Johnson Suleiman to give you spiritual direction for each new day and empowerment for all-round successful Christian living. Enjoy special features like updates of upcoming events of Apostle Johnson Suleiman, Omega Fire Ministry, and many more. Get the word ever fresh. Rhema for Living. This is your day. Hi there. Welcome to the 21st day of August. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Celebration TV team, what side do I need to log into to enable me stay connected always? Sometimes I find it difficult logging into the station's website www.mycelebrationtv.com. What do I do? Don't know if it's a network problem? Please help. Must I log into MyCelebrationTV.com to enable me to stay updated about upcoming programs, watch Celebration TV on the go, pay my tithes, offerings and sow a seed? These and many more questions we have received from our esteemed viewers. Well, we have splendid news for you. Celebration TV gladly introduces to our beloved and esteemed viewers Celebration TV mobile app, available to all Android, Blackberry and iOS devices. Now you can have your Celebration TV with you anywhere, anytime and everywhere you go. Well, Celebration TV mobile app, available to all Android, Blackberry and iOS devices. How can I get my Celebration TV mobile app? It's no stress at all. Go to the Google Play Store on your Android device. Search for the mobile app by typing Celebration TV. Now click on the Celebration TV app with the station's logo. Then click install. And there you have it. Easy, unlimited and unrestricted access. Stay updated with the ministry, watch live broadcasts from the International Worship Center and outreaches of Apostle John Singh Suleiman. Send us your prayer requests and testimonies. Partner with Omega Fire Ministries and Celebration TV and so many more. Anywhere, anytime, always. Celebration TV mobile app. Available to all Android, Blackberry and iOS devices. On your BlackBerry, you can get it from the BlackBerry World and on your iOS device, you can get it from the App Store. Be involved, informed and empowered. Celebration TV, revealing Jesus, releasing destiny. Welcome back. Our topic today is be ready to fight. And this is the part two. Our text is from the book of Judges 1 verse 5 to 7. It reads, And they found Adonai Bezek in Bezek, and they fought against him. But Adonai Bezek fled, and they pursued after him and caught him and cut off his thumbs and his great toes. And Adonai Bezek said, Three score and ten kings, having their thumbs and great toes cut off, gather their meat under my table as i have done so god hath requited me we live in a world of seasons that you are somewhere today doesn't mean you will be there forever we live in a world that only the valiant survive boldness is key in destiny you have to be bold you have to be courageous you have an enemy when you live your life with this consciousness you will always be in control the above passage makes us understand that there was a certain king called Adoni Bezek. 
Bible history reveals that he controlled 70 nations. He reigned unquestioned. He reigned unharmed. He was in charge. He was conquering and vandalizing. From his confession, 70 kings, these are kings with dreams, kings with projects, kings with vision, kings with destinies and dreams for life, had their th thumbs rather and their toes cut off and they were under his table. What were they doing there? They were talking dreams without reality, confessing without reality. And this is why many believers wonder why they confess and yet they don't see anything come to pass. It's because perhaps they are under the table of Adonai Bezek. Child of God, you must be ready to fight. You must be ready to reign indeed as a king, waging war for victory. You can't have a palace until you are a fighter. Thrones are not endowed, thrones are earned. Their 70 kings were deprived of their thrones and their destinies by one man called Adonai Bezek. God gave them glorious destinies, but Adonai Bezek became an obstacle to their reign because they refused to fight. You have knowledge now, so get into the place of prayer and pray your destiny out of every spiritual Adonai Bezek against your rising. Our prayer today is my father, as I pray, every Adonai Bezek against my destiny, I kill you by fire. I'll see you next time. God bless you. Thank you.